Week 7, Epilogue. What is poverty? Pastor Daniel Nunez, Ministerios Transformacion, Tijuana, Mexico. Three hours south of L.A. in a small town called Javier Rojo Gomez, Mexico, 95% of the children go to school without food. Most of the people in this impoverished town live in small shacks without running water or electricity. Most families are held together by working single mothers who earn an average of $80 per week. These families typically eat one meal a day, dinner. There is simply not enough money for more food than that. Going to school every day without breakfast deprives children of many benefits. Children who do eat breakfast are more likely to behave better in school, get along better with their peers, pay more attention in class, and of course, get important nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. Sensing God's direction, our church, Lo Mejor del Trego, began an effort to help the marginalized and create change. We began to serve breakfast to children before they went to school. The breakfast program provides a hot meal to the children of Rojo Gomez and creates opportunities for this community beyond measure. The breakfast program allows 250 to 300 children to be fed a warm and nutritious meal before they go to school each morning, allowing children to be more focused in class. Success in school creates the, the desire to continue their education, which creates opportunities for young adults to impact their community for good. We have seen the improvement in our community with kids staying in school and graduating, which has been rare until now. As we have invested in the people of our community, we have often seen change. They are taking ownership of their neighborhoods and are serving in ways such as erasing all graffiti and painting houses. We just started our Grupos Familiares family groups that meet in houses and help their neighbors in tangible ways. Though the people in our community experience extreme poverty, they are rich in the things that matter. They care deeply about their children. They want something better for their families and neighborhoods. They feel and express God's unfailing love in simple yet beautiful ways. Even with the little they have in the way of possessions, they know they are making a difference in changing their city. As we have heard God's call to plant churches and serve the least of these, we recognize that he equips those he calls, just as he empowered Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. So too has he empowered us. With God, we have everything we need.